I told you guys, John Dorsey effectively fired himself. Hey, he got fired in Kansas City by Hall of Fame coach Andy Reid. And I always told you, he could have hey, he could have hired somebody with a cachet, a good coach that had cachet, history, um, prominent, but then he knew that he'd have a chance of getting fired like Andy Reid did. Or he could hire a fucking puppet that couldn't get him fired, but eventually did get him fired. His hiring of Freddie Kitchens, look, Jimmy and D has them. They don't care. The, the drafts he had, hits and misses, they're okay with that. But they didn't want Freddie Kitchens. John Dorsey did. John Dorsey put his ego before his goddamn football team, and he made a mistake because the Cleveland Browns took a major step backwards last year under the tutelage and guidance of a fucking fat-faced, inexperienced slob who should have never have been given the coaching job. Now, I say to you, if you're a general manager who has the team's best interest in mind and you have a young quarterback, right, and you have a, a coach with cachet, with a prominent coach who uh, is actually a good coach, who comes out on TV and says, I, you know, I would love to have that job. And you know if you interview him, he would take the job. Wouldn't you think you'd interview the guy? He didn't want no part of Bruce Arians because you know what? Bruce Arians has a strong personality, stronger than John Dorsey's. And if push came to shove, you're going to take the established head coach in Bruce Arians over John Dorsey. See, John Dorsey put his own fucking agenda ahead of the fucking Cleveland Browns. And fuck you, buddy boy. I'm glad you're fucking gone. You're a fucking disgrace. And Baker Mayfield needs Someone in that organization needs to get a hold of Baker Mayfield and teach him how to be a professional. Professionals don't argue with fans. I'll make a video on that separately. But someone in that organization, Jarvis Landy, they need to pull him aside and say, listen, bro, you got to start acting appropriately. I don't care what you did in high school. You got a chip on your shoulder. This isn't the way you behave in the NFL. You can talk all the shit you want, but you don't have fans make you dance. It's a bad look right now. I know my franchises, my quarterbacks, my team's franchise quarterback is a joke right now. He's a walking lottery ticket to anyone out there that wants to get in his face and get punched and make a million or five, whatever. I'll make a video on that because if I knew Baker Mayfield... I just spit in his face knowing that I'm going to take a fucking punch right in the jaw. It's not going to hurt and I'm going to be rich. Baker leaves himself open that he's a fucking clown. So John Dorsey got himself fired. He put himself above the team. Fuck you, Dorsey, you fucking clown. I'm glad you're gone. Fucking asshole. Fucking bum. You hired Freddie fucking Kitchens, you fucking moron. Anyway, you did it to yourself, John. Should have hired Bruce Arians. You know, if you hired Bruce Arians right now, Baker would probably throw about 35 TDs. He would have been, we'd be in the playoffs. We'd be in the playoffs. And you wouldn't be the voice of the Cleveland Browns. Bruce Arians would. You didn't, you didn't want that, did you? You wanted to be out there. Buddy boy, Bruce Arians would be the face of the franchise because he's got a strong personality. You didn't like that. Fucking asshole. Should have hired Bruce Arians. You'd still have a job right now. Eh, you wouldn't be getting no publicity. Bruce would, but you know what? You'd still be employed. Still have a franchise quarterback. Probably be about 11 and 5, 12 and 4. Because I know with the talent on that roster and Bruce Arians, they would have been a playoff team. But no. You put your personal agenda ahead of everything. Fucking asshole. <laughs>